What is going on everybody, Simon here. And today I'd like to take a closer look at a specific six stroke roll. And to present this to you, I have a 14 by five and a half DW nickel snare drum and a Paiste 2002 odd size cymbal set. So what is a six stroke roll? Super simple. It's a pattern or sequence of six strokes that repeats over and over again. The most famous one is right, left, left, right, right, left. So it starts with a single stroke, followed by two double strokes and ends with a single stroke. And the single strokes are accented notes. So The most common inversions of the six stroke roll are number one, right, right, left, right, left, left. Which can be transferred into your jazz drumming because if you put the right hand on your right cymbal and you start the pattern on the second triplet of beat one, the swing pattern is carried within. Number two is right, left, right, right, left, left. which is also a paradiddle diddle. And if you add a double stroke with the bass drum at the end, like this, you get this famous Keith Carlock lick that only he is able to do as smooth as possible. However, there is a third inversion which in my opinion receives too little attention. And it goes like this. Right, right, left, left, right, left. So you have the double strokes at the beginning. And what I really like are those double strokes at the beginning because with a lot of patience and practice you can create a really nice crescendo which reaches its climax at the end with the two single strokes. It's like a rush right into the next one or the next accent. And especially if you play it in 16th note triplets, it rolls right into your face. And if you play it more in a 32nd note, 16th note split, so that the doubles are in 32nd notes and the singles in 16th notes, you can create a really smooth ritardando, which sounds nice. The 
besides fills, you can use this sticking also in a groove context. You put your right hand on the hi-hat, left hand stays on the snare drum, and you add a bass drum stroke on the first stroke of your right hand and the last one. I like this variation best when you play this sticking, like the six stroke roll, third inversion, in, a, in a 30 second notes, but in a 16th note based groove. Or, if you are a fan of drum and bass grooves, you can also play this sticking in 16th notes in a fast drum and bass groove, like this. I really, really like this sticking, and I hope you dig it too. If so, then give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, so you are always up to date about our new videos. Leave a comment about your favorite stickings, what stickings do you practice. I see you next week Wednesday in a new video. Take care, stay safe, practice your drums. Simon out. Bye bye. <laughs>